Hey, welcome back to my channel. We're at the Mathai clan and today I'm going to be talking about what's in my hospital bag and we'll be right back after my intro. <music> talking about what was in my hospital bag you might be hearing autumn in the background because she's in her little bouncer which she loves so we're gonna just do that well i'm doing this and yes i do have a list of everything that's in my hospital bag because i can't remember i completely unpacked my bag but i remembered what was in it but <laughs> of course i'm not gonna remember off of the top of my head so i packed two bags so i packed a backpack and a suitcase so in my backpack there was a lot of stuff i didn't use because i thought i was gonna bring stuff over for my vlogging so i could vlog during my labor and delivery and all that stuff turns out labor is a lot harder than i thought and i was pretty much tired so i didn't vlog at all during my labor. <laughs> so one of the things that I brought along was, of course, my laptop. Did not use that one bit. I thought I was going to use it, maybe edit a video, play some Sims, did not use it at all. So I recommend probably not bring your laptop if you know, you know you're gonna be pretty much sleeping the whole entire time. I mean, you can use it, but I, I didn't use it because I used my phone the entire time. Um, I did bring chargers for my laptop, of course. Um, so I didn't use those. The only charger I used was my phone, my phone charger. Uh, yeah, so I didn't use any of my chargers and I only used my phone charger. And then I did bring my camera along. Did not have to use that either because of course I didn't vlog at all so um and then i'm like oh i'm gonna take pictures didn't take pictures with it either i took pictures with my phone and then my mom also had her camera along so she t the one that took all the pictures um i brought slippers i did use the slippers i love my slippers they're um ewok slippers from star wars that i got from torrid about two years ago so i definitely recommend bringing slippers because, you know, if you're up and walking, you want to have non-slip slippers so you can walk around because they will give you socks that are pretty much uncomfortable. So I had my slippers on until they broke my water because they didn't want to get them messy. So I took off my slippers for that. Um, I had snacks for me in my bag for after I had the baby. Um, I do recommend bringing snacks along just in case you have your baby after you, after the hospital closes down their cafeteria and all that stuff. Because I had my baby pretty early in the morning. She was born at 8.19 in the morning, so they just opened up. So I, I recommend bringing snacks still and bring snacks for your partner. Make sure that they bring snacks because it was a long labor and <laughs> they were not able to eat at the hospital. They didn't want to pay cafeteria food because the prices are unreasonable. So they had to go across, my mom and Eli had to go across the street to like Jimmy John's and get food. So I recommend bringing snacks. Um, another thing that I had in my bag was bra expanders. So my nursing bras fit my cup size. It just did not fit my rib cage. So <laughs> I got bra expanders so it could fit my rib cage. And that was about like four bucks on Amazon. And it came with three. 
So I recommend buying those if you don't have bras that fit well, if you want your bras to keep on fitting, even though like your cup size didn't change. I mean, because once you have the pregnant belly, like it gets harder to fit around the rib cage because your rib cage is also expanding. So I recommend buying the bra expanders so that everything can fit better and then you don't have to go out and buy a, like a $40 bra. Um, now we're on to the suitcase. So I packed PJs of which I used. I love the PJs that I bought. I got from Walmart. I'm actually wearing some PJs that I got from Walmart. Um, and then I got a robe, which was a Christmas gift from Eli. I didn't wear it very often. I wore it twice and that was for walking. And one of the issues that I had with the robe was I had an IV in my hand and it was so hard to get my arm through the sleeve without trying to get my IV ripped out. So that was a painful thing and pretty much the two times that I was allowed to get up and walk, like it was not necessary to bring the robe. I mean, if I was having more of a natural birth and they were allowing me to walk and all this stuff, I think it would be worth it. But because I was not able to walk around and all that stuff, it, it, it just wasn't worth to bring. Um, I did bring underwear because I'm like, I just don't want my nice underwear to be ruined. So I bought a pack of crappy granny panties from Walmart and I didn't use any of that because I used the mesh panties that they gave us. Um, well, not us, me, gave me at the hospital. And then I brought the nursing bras. I did use those. They made me get on a nursing bra right away. So that right after she's delivered, I could nurse within a couple minutes. So I did use that. And then I brought my heart pillow that Eli got me a couple of years ago. I used that a lot of the time. And then after she was born, I had so many pillows around me that I didn't need to use it. So Eli actually used my pillow because he didn't bring one. Um, I brought two stuffed animals. So I brought my narwhal stuffed animal and then my dog Christmas with us. And that was just to help me calm down. Um, because of the anxiety and the autism and all that stuff. So I didn't want to have like a meltdown. So I brought those just as a comfort thing. I brought a felt letter board that I got on Amazon and all the stuff that I got on Amazon, I'm going to link down in the description. Um, so I got a felt letter board that I used, um, uh, for her pictures. We got a professional photographer to come in the second day that she was around and we did all those photos and we used the felt board and I'm going to use the felt board continuously for her one month photos and all that stuff so I did use that and then I brought a blanket my puzzle piece blanket which was nice um eventually I didn't use it anymore Eli used it um and then I brought a nursing tank, which I did not use because it was so tight that I just didn't want to wear it because, I mean, after birth, you want to wear tight things to help bring down everything and go back into place and all that stuff. But I didn't want to wear it because I was so sore everywhere. So I did not use that. Um, and then we'll go on to baby's bag. Um, so I packed three outfits, sorry, three outfits, and um, I packed two sleepers, and then I packed the really cute little Valentine's Day outfit. All these were newborn outfits because I'm like hoping that she'll fit in and all that stuff. Turns out she's smaller than what we were expecting, and <laughs> she doesn't even fit in newborn right now, and she's almost a month old. <laughs> Um, then we packed diapers, newborn of course, and we packed a bunch of wipes. Um, we packed a blanket for the car ride, and of course we packed the car seat, but that wasn't in her bag. Um, I packed a jacket, which she didn't need, because you're not supposed to put on jackets when they're in the car seat, and she wasn't going out 
for long periods of time. So we just wrapped her up in a blanket in her car seat. So that was unnecessary to bring. And then we brought hats, which <laughs> we brought two big of hats. So we used the hats that they gave us at the hospital. And I also brought a headband for her and that was too big also. So we didn't use that. Um, stuff that I wish I brought, I wish that I brought a pump with me because we've had such a hard time with nursing so i wish that i brought my pump i did get the spectra one pump so i'm gonna put that there so i put this i had the pack uh, spectra uh, one pump and then i got the alivi pump which <clears throat> i like a lot more and then i wish i brought my nursing boppy pillow because i think that would have helped with our positioning and all that stuff they say oh we're gonna just prop her up on pillows i needed like five pillows to get her in the right position so it was like i could have just done it with the one pillow if i brought it but no i had to use the five pillows which didn't work anyways um i wish i brought bottles because you know once we left we weren't nursing so we were using formula when we left and i wish i brought bottles so we could have done more f formula and not worry about these little instant formulas, you know. So I wish that we brought bottles and I wish we brought uh, a case of formula so we didn't have to worry about that on the way home because it was a three hour drive and turned out we had to stay for a couple days after I was discharged. Um, <clears throat> for myself, I wish I brought warmer clothes. We did go to Rochester and it was so cold because the reason why we had to stay another night was because there was a blizzard in Rochester the day that we were supposed to get discharged. There was a blizzard. So we weren't able to leave Rochester until Monday. Oh, bless you. Um, and then a lot of people do this. I didn't do this because I had no idea what I wanted and what I was going to be expecting. So I didn't make one up, so I did not make up a birth plan. I kind of wish that I did so I had my expectations out there on what I wanted because I feel like I almost missed some of the things that I wanted out there, but I can't remember what I wanted. <laughs> so next time that we have a baby, I'm going to make up a birth plan and all that stuff, but I, I didn't make up one and... I guess next time I know what to expect, so I'm gonna kinda know where to go with that next time. And then the last thing that I wish I brought was a book called What to Expect When You're Expecting. So they even tell you in the book what to pack in your hospital bag, and they said, don't forget this book because it has all these things about labor and how to do natural labor and what you should expect in these stages and all that stuff and like if you're being induced and all that stuff and I thought because hey I'm a high risk I'm going in for an induction I wouldn't need it because they pretty much have a whole plan out for me anyways and there wasn't going to be a lot of time I was laboring for 25 hours there was plenty of time for me to read part of the book and I didn't bring it and I kind of regret that so those are just a couple of the things that I wish that I brought with me to the hospital and I hope that you find this video informative and hope that you like and subscribe this video and push that notification button and we'll see you next time at the Mathai Clan.